tired of lousy Wi-Fi signal? Your wireless is reliable as a weather forecast? Well, here are five tips on how to speed up your Wi-Fi that don't cost a thing and could improve your home network. Number one, check your firmware. Every device needs updating now and then, and your Wi-Fi router access point is no different. No matter if you manage your device from a smartphone app or log into it via a web page on a computer, you should regularly be checking to see if there's an upgrade available for the programming that runs the hardware. Why? Because believe it or not, these updates can add new features and improvements to your network. More importantly, they can also fix those irritating bugs and plug security holes that hackers, viruses, and malware just love to exploit. Now, every device is different, so I can't go into how to update your specific device. If you're unsure how to check your device's firmware or install an update, Google the device and manufacturer to find the website and follow the instructions on how to update your specific device. 2. Move your access point to a centralized location of where you want your Wi-Fi signal to go. Now, if you have one Wi-Fi access point or device handing out wireless signal in your home, you want to place that device in the most centralized location and is free of as many objects as possible. Because Wi-Fi travels in line of sight. That means the more stuff in the way, the more walls or other things it needs to go through, the harder it is for wireless signals to penetrate it. By moving your device to a centralized location, you can maximize your signal strength around your home. All right, on to step three. Measure your signal strength. Yes, I know it sounds painfully obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people don't bother to do this. You need to figure out where in your home the Wi-Fi is limping along so you can fix it. If you have a laptop, Download a tool like MetaGeek's InSSID. The best part? It's free! I'll leave a link in the description for you. Just register for an account and download it. Install it and see for yourself not only the strength of your Wi-Fi signal, but also if there's any pesky interference wreaking havoc. And remember, in the world of Wi-Fi signal strength, lower dB numbers are better. We're talking negative dB numbers here, and the lower they are, the stronger your signal. If you're seeing numbers worse than minus 70 dB, then brace yourself for a world of frustration because your Wi-Fi performance is going to be as reliable as a chocolate teapot. Now, number four. Let's talk about your actual Wi-Fi signal. Check or change your channel and frequency. Listen up. Modern devices, including your precious cell phones, usually support the 5 gigahertz bands, unlike those ancient relics that only had 2.4 gigahertz available to them. The channels and frequencies your devices use are critical, thanks to every neighbor and their mother's devices causing interference. This includes everything from baby monitors and Bluetooth gadgets to microwaves. The old 2.4 gigahertz band is a hotbed for interference. Just look at this chart. Even with a strong signal, you can be drowning in a sea of overlapping networks, like I am here on channel 11. If you can, switch to the 5 gigahertz band. It's typically less crowded. Look at this chart. On the 5 gigahertz band, I'm not stepping on anyone's toes, and neither are they on mine. It's a much smarter choice. Dig out your router's manual to figure out how to switch channels. Usually these things can pick the best channel automatically, but if it's not doing a good enough job, take matters into your own hands and choose one yourself. You may have to rely on another trusty old Google search to get your specific device's instructions on how to make the change. And finally, tip number five, change your DNS servers. DNS, don't know what it is? Well, I'm not about to give you a lecture on that. That's a subject for a whole other video. But in a nutshell, think of DNS as the Internet's phone book. We humans prefer names like Microsoft.com or Google.com over a string of numbers like 20.112.250.133. DNS is the wizardry that translates these names into numbers your computer understands. Your router probably uses your internet service or ISP's DNS servers by default. But here's a newsflash for you. That's not always the best idea. Why? Because your ISP can then track every single website you visit and then happily sell that information to advertisers who will bombard you with targeted ads. Want to avoid that? Use alternate DNS servers. I recommend Google's or Cloudflare's. Change your router settings to use 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 for Google, or 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 for Cloudflare. And yes, you might have to Google your device's model again to figure out how to do this, whether it's through an app on your phone or some web page on your computer. Google is your friend. 
And there's five different ways you can speed up your Wi-Fi without costing you anything but a little bit of time. All right, that's it. We've slogged through the latest video on ways to boost your snail paced home Wi-Fi. Hope you were paying attention. Remember, update your firmware, reposition your router, measure your signal strength, check your channels, and change your DNS servers. Do all this and maybe, just maybe, you'll stop cursing at your router every five minutes. If you've got questions, leave them in the comments. And for the love of a seamless streaming experience, hit that like and subscribe button. It's one click and it won't kill your Wi-Fi. Until next time, keep your connections strong and your patience stronger.